Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. In today's video, we're tackling a familiar issue. You're ready to go, you jump in your car, the lights and radio are on, but the engine, silence. You turn the key and get nothing, no click, no turnover. Despite having power, your car just won't start. It's a common but puzzling problem, and I'm here to help you figure it out. Let's get started. Number one on the list, a dead or dying battery. Even if you can turn on the accessories like lights and music, the battery might not have enough juice left to engage the starter. Check the date codes. Most normal car batteries last three to five years. Connections can corrode over time too, causing voltage drops. Clean the battery terminals and ground straps thoroughly before doing anything else. If the battery checks out, next look at the starter itself. Starters wear out. The high current draw to turn over a cold engine takes its toll over the years. Listen closely when you turn the key. Clicking or a spinning sound likely points to a dying starter motor. They can be rebuilt or replaced pretty easily. Just be sure you get one matched for your make or model. Another common culprit is the ignition switch. You know, that key tumbler where you put your key in. These handles wear out and can fail internally. Intermittent operation is typical. If wiggling the key changes anything, it's likely a bad ignition cylinder. They can often be repaired, but replacement may be required for some makes. For automatic transmission cars, there's a neutral safety switch that prevents cranking unless the car is in park or neutral. They're pretty simple and fail often. Put the car in neutral and try starting it. If it works, the neutral safety switch needs adjustment or replacement. The clutch interlock switch does the same for manual transmission vehicles too. Fuel systems can also cause a no start, but usually if there's no fuel, you'll still hear the engine cranking, just not firing. Regardless, check fuel pressure at the rail to rule this out. Spark issues follow the same pattern. The engine will crank, but not even try to run. Diagnosing fuel and ignition issues takes more specialized tools and in-depth troubleshooting. Another issue that can mimic a bad starter is the starter relay or fuse. Relays send power to the starter when you turn the key. They operate thousands of times reliably, but eventually wear out. Check for blown fuses, too. Relays and fuses are cheap, and it's worth replacing as part of your diagnostic work. I've seen car security and theft deterrent systems cause no start issues, too. If your key has a black chip near the bottom, or there's a security light on the dash, this may be the culprit. These systems interrupt fuel, spark, and or starter operation if the key is not read properly. It can turn into a real nightmare, but focus on the visible security indicators first if you see any. And the last possibility I will mention today ties back to that battery again. Even with good voltage, if the connections to the starter, solenoid, or ground straps are corroded or loose, the high current demand from the starter can cause excessive voltage drop. Clean and verify all connections are tight before condemning other components. Bad grounds can sink an otherwise sound system. Thanks for watching Honest Mechanic. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more car tips and tricks.